Hello, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon, along with Suzanne Marquez here on KCAL 9 News at 8. And we begin with breaking news tonight. Stu Madell is in Sky 9 over a stolen car pursuit that's been going on for over an hour. Stu. Well, Elsa, Suzanne, take a look at uh, Susan. Uh, take a look at this. You know, this thing has been going, like you said, since San Bernardino. Uh, if you got. Uh, if you guys are local, obviously you are. We've been talking on the internet for a while. Uh, it's, we picked it up, or we heard about it, when it was on the 57 near the 210. Right now, we're southbound on the 405 freeway, just passing the 105 freeway. So we have been going for quite some distance. There have been some highlights. As I understand it, we have some tape queued up. The first one was when Chino Hills Police Department took it back over from the California Highway Patrol. And in the Burbank area, when we were on the 134 freeway, there was a time when when the traffic was so backed up, the vehicle was almost stopped, and they tried to do a pit maneuver. They made contact with the car, but it did, wasn't enough to spin it around. Just kind of bumped it really hard. That really agitated the driver of that vehicle, who then just took off, really kind of pushing his way through the traffic. We haven't seen this car make contact, meaning hitting any other cars this afternoon, but we've seen a lot of strange behavior inside that vehicle. The driver taking off his clothes at one time, almost naked, and then later on putting on clothes. Don't know if he's changing or trying something new, but we saw that maneuvers earlier on. Then this person actually driving the wrong way on the freeway. 101 freeway, this time of the afternoon was packed up. He basically made a U-turn to get onto the southbound 405 going against traffic for some time. The uh, law enforcement, they were right behind him being safe, lights and sirens. They got, they basically were able to catch up to him again on the southbound 405. Anybody in this area knows southbound 405 always slow and go, especially this time of night and this pursuit has basically been that he's been in traffic for the longest time now the california highway patrol they're the ones back behind him once again we just passed over to los angeles international airport this car drives slow then speeds up what's he driving they're saying it's stolen we believe him we got a male driver behind the wheel and the car it's going to be about a 90-ish toyota camry the car keeps going. The driver doesn't seem too concerned about what's going on behind him. Uh, at point, times, he does get a little crazy. He does drive fast, like we said. We haven't seen him hit anybody on the freeway or bump anybody on the freeway. That's the positive right now. We're still hopeful this will end in a peaceful manner. Where he's going, that's anybody's guess. And Stu, uh, typically a lot of the drivers don't know where they're going. They just continue to lead CHP or whatever agency and it, started uh, around, and it started around 625, Stu. So it's been going on for about an hour and a half when Chino Hills PD tried to pull him over, and that's when it began. Around 720 is around the time I remember when he opened that car door. Around 730 is when he went the wrong way. But it seems about a half hour after that, he's starting to calm down. Is that because of the traffic? It, you know, we don't really know. We just, uh, we're just watching. But yeah, there was some unusual behavior. You're right. I forgot about that. He opened up the door. He was looking out underneath the vehicle. I thought he was going to throw something out or try to dump something out of the vehicle. But he just stuck his head out. He was looking around under the car. Don't know what that's all about. And we might ever really find out. Slow moving. We're getting out of the Hawthorne area. Southbound 405. Lawndale is going to be the next big one. Not quite there yet, but getting very close. California Highway Patrol, they're the ones behind him right now. Chino PD, I don't know if they backed out or basically are started to head back home. They were staying with it for some time, but you can see a number of California Highway Patrol out here now behind that vehicle. They're creating quite a traffic break for that car. You can see that little pocket. You've got traffic here and then you've got traffic back over behind it as well. They're trying to, uh, basically the idea is that if this thing does come to an end, the officers that are dealing with the uh, with that suspect will have a little pocket to work with. Those right there, those are going to be the uh, Chino PD. That's going to be the Chino Police, Chino Hills Police Department. They're the ones that were originally in pursuit. They handed it off to the California Highway Patrol for some time, but then they took it back over in the Pasadena area. Now, California Highway Patrol, back in it at the helm as it would be you can see officers making a move right now here it comes it looks like they're gonna try to pin them on the freeway and there Whoa. it is rear bumper out nice little spin right there up against the curb now this doesn't mean it's over we've seen this in the past to see if those California Highway Patrol try to block him in but that car definitely facing the wrong way right now 
maybe that engine is off. We don't know. But right now, that's the most action we've seen in a while. Don't see those reverse lights on. The car just kind of rolling. Seems like the brake lights are on. They are there. They're poised. They want to bring this thing to an end. Stolen vehicle. That's what this was all about earlier on. Don't know if he's going to try to restart it. Right now, very dangerous situation. Guns out. You can see those lights, bright lights on that driver. And that driver seeming to do the wrong thing. This is not what they want to see these, uh, these suspects do, making those moves around. Looks like he's climbing into the back part of the car. Yes. Uh, this type of situation is not what they want. They want to see hands out. They don't know what this person has as far as a weapon right now. Southbound 405 is where this thing came to an end. Just about, we might be uh, just about the uh, Lawndale area right at the border. But southbound 405, this car stopped now. That suspect not complying. California Highway Patrol, weapons out, bright lights on this guy. And he's just kind of moving around inside that car. Unclear what he's doing in there. You know, Stu, we rarely see a pit maneuver performed on the freeway for many obvious reasons. Usually the rates are very high rates of speed on the freeway. There's usually a lot of innocent drivers around, a lot of traffic. It becomes almost impossible to perform that pit maneuver on the freeway. But the roads have been pretty wide open, surprisingly, for this driver who has made it from Chino Hills yes. all the way past LAX with very little traffic to, to stop them. Every once in a while hitting a few pockets here and there, but here we are. They were able to do the pit maneuver here on the freeway, and it looks like we're in a bit of a standoff. And as you and I have seen, Stu, many times, uh, now they have to kind of recalculate law enforcement. Ooh, they're, they're, well, they're yeah, shooting something. How they're going to handle yeah, this. They're, they're shooting something at the... Yeah. They're trying to, they're trying to break, they're trying to break the window. They're mm -hmm. shooting less than lethal. It's going to be southbound 405, right about the Hawthorne area. Now, one of the things this guy is doing right there, those are less than lethal. Mm -hmm. uh, those are beanbag rounds, basically designed to break that window out. Maybe that pepper dust will uh, annoy the driver to the point where they're going to be able to, you know, this guy will get out on his own. But the better the tactic right there is that dog. Uh, that's going to be a California Highway Patrol dog. Oh, and they're letting him loose right now. Going to see if we can get around to the other side, Brennan. He was trying to, uh, my pilot was trying to suggest us to do that earlier on. Uh, but right now, it does seem like the dog is inside that car with that driver. Yeah, well, he's uh, far and, in the of back, course, too. I'm sure that yeah. driver's going to wanted 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 to come out of that car i can guarantee it that dog definitely biting that guy mm -hmm. right now suspect on the ground this thing coming to an end southbound 405 right about rosecrans california highway patrol canine unit bringing this thing to an end uh, as it was a very long pursuit for a, a quite a bit of time out here slow going on the 405 really just inconveniencing so many other drivers uh but now this uh suspect possibly dangerous suspect in custody that canine uh, going inside that car to take that uh, suspect out they were not going to wait for that suspect to make a decision whether or not they were going to come out peacefully we've seen many times Stu. they have sat and waited for the suspect to come out sometimes that is a long drawn out process sometimes it takes minutes sometimes we've seen it take hours but what do you think uh, the reasoning was behind sending in the dog in immediately instead of letting this play out well, Elsa, they, they wanted to bring this thing to an end. And, of course, the 405 freeway, it is always packed. California Highway Patrol, they are concerned. It is one of the things that they are concerned about, flow of traffic. Uh, they are when, when there's an accident, a minor accident, they're always talking about they want you to pull over to the side because they try to keep that traffic flowing. Uh, that uh, officer putting his uh, partner away in the back of the car right there, that canine this evening, really the hero of this going into that car taking out that dangerous suspect. California Highway Patrol, like you said, also a little bit of what we could almost say a little bit aggressive this evening, but warranted. Uh, they're using the uh, less than lethal beanbags to break that window, to get that dog in there, to get that suspect to comply. Uh, this has been a very unusual chase for sure. And of course, public safety, they wanted to keep the people safe. But now that this thing is over, and like you said, standoff type of situation on the 405, 
Oh, forget about it. It is just going to become a parking lot out here. It probably already is. That person in custody right now, I'm just going to get a little bit of a wider shot, give you an idea what the southbound 405 looks like in just a few moments that we've been sitting here. The traffic backed up, I can tell you, probably all the way to the LAX area stopped this evening. Uh, we're about 405 at Rosecrans. Take a look at that. These, it, it is just completely stopped, and that's how quickly the backup started. If this would have turned into a, a long, drawn-out standoff, there would have been a nightmare for so many people out here on the freeway. They, in my opinion, my only, just my opinion, did the right thing. Uh, you can see right there that uh, basically the dog doing the takedown once again as that sus as they were breaking out the window with the less than lethal. That suspect now in custody. They're going to make sure he doesn't have anything on him that's harmful, uh, as in a weapon and uh, they'll put this guy in a police car, a sheriff, excuse me, a California Highway Patrol vehicle here shortly. They're gonna clear the roadway and get that traffic, that precious California traffic mm -hmm. moving once again. Well, Stu, the, the hour is pretty tough when you think about the amount of cars on the, on the road. How, how long does it usually take them to clear a scene like this when it actually ends pretty quickly for them? So then this one, you can see it right there. They are taking this thing off the road right now. They're going to put that suspect in that police car, and they'll move those uh, law enforcement vehicles just as quickly. I would have to guess that that's going to be Rosecrans. I heard them saying that earlier on. So that's probably going to be the Rosecrans off-ramp out here. You can see uh, the units, the California Highway Patrol, starting to clear the roadway. That suspect they just have to make sure that that suspect doesn't have anything on him they're going to pat him down good and make sure that he's clean before they put him inside that vehicle and then i can tell you they're going to get those law enforcement units off the roadway and the 405 southbound flowing again as soon as possible mm, well you can bet there's going to be some residual traffic there even when they do clear it out but thankfully it came to a somewhat peaceful and it could have been a lot worse considering this driver was extremely aggressive going at high rates of speed and covered a lot of ground from chino hills all the way to hawthorne and and made record time and and went through several different agencies chasing this vehicle we had chino hills pd we had the chp and we had san bernardino sheriffs but fortunately it is all over and hopefully they can get the 405 moving again California Highway Patrol, very concerned about that. Actually handing off the uh, suspect to uh, Chino Hills PD. They're not even going to put that guy in, this, in their car. And this is now coming to an end. Southbound 405 at Rosecrans this evening. All right, Stu.